course the intro to Amy McDonald's This Is The Life, taken from her album with the same name, came out in 27 I believe, was a big hit here in Europe, I do think it, make it made it into the US, but at least, well, it was over here. Now, the good news is definitely there are like only four chords throughout the song and really like all the way through as in the progression starting with as you could have already seen a C sharp minor it moves to A it moves to E and it goes to G sharp minor and that you repeat just throughout the whole song no matter which part you're playing the intro the interludes the the verses the choruses and so on and so on so the thing here is a chord there are two bar chords involved here c sharp minor and a g sharp minor which might be a little bit challenging to some of you for that i well maybe you figured it out yourself then you don't need this lesson but if you do <laughs> then of course place the capo on the fourth fret and go from there because you end up with a couple of way easier chords you start with an a minor which is with the relative to the capo keep that in mind you're basically using the capo as if it's a bar but from here we talk about chord shapes and that would be a minor of course you put it on the fourth fret in order to match the absolute key so this is relative the shapes the absolute key would be as how you would actually sound the actual pitch you can of course take it up down whatever you want to do okay I am uh, <laughs> let's stick to uh, what I wanted to say you move from a minor to F and sure that might be a challenge to some of you there too work on it I would say do not try to avoid bar chords you will need to play those on the guitar then it moves to C major and then to E minor same thing all the way through so this might be a good option to of course play this so a couple of the little things uh, the strumming it is uh, on the fast side I would say it depends a little on how you count it I would count it as a one and two three and four and one and so on so each chord would be like a whole measure now what I do like about it as in uh, the original recording in particular is you hear this alternating bass notes going there are more bass notes involved there don't get me wrong but like actually clearly hit it not how okay <laughs> so that you could hear it anyway so for a C sharp minor it wouldn't be mean moving from the fifth to the sixth string you need to of course then bar it for A major you go from the fifth to the sixth back and forth for E major you go from the sixth to the did I say from the fifth to the sixth yes for E major you go from the sixth to the fifth so vice versa and the same thing actually for G sharp minor when you play in A minor with the capo uh, there of course or I mean the shapes then of course you can do exactly the same thing so I point out in the lesson of course which ones they are and so on and so on when you hear her play it she might sometimes do it and very often she might not another thing she might do which I do like and not like all the time but here and there is this squeezing and then releasing the strings not all, yeah something like that like I said kind of like here there and well little things like that so those are the things we take a look at of course we go through the chords again for both keys we go through which bass notes to alternate we go through the squeezing releasing and getting this uh, muted effect in there we go through well you need to check out the lesson for some of you this might be you know like an easy out of the gate uh, song and for others you might need a little bit more details there so it's going to be sweet and short lesson check it out at totallyguitars.com <laughs>